Well, this is one area where the coalition is comfortable fighting. So there is that at least, that they are mounting a real opposition to, to these, uh, these plans because we have seen them run dead on so many crucial issues, ideological issues, where they just seem to be too frightened to take a firm position against the leftist Labor line. But here... They do feel like they're on secure ground and we can see with a little bit of pressure how badly the Albanese <laughs> government trailed because they are not used to that. They have had the long yeah, longest clearest, honeymoon. Exactly. The media loves them, so there's not much scrutiny coming from my, the bulk of the media. And yet the, the, the opposition has, has just had this softly, softly approach and now they're fighting. And hopefully they can see that when you actually give people... Uh, an opposition, when you give people a clear choice between two parties, then you hold the government accountable. It has been really disappointing, I think, so far to see the the Dutton opposition not be as as ferocious and and, and fearless. Well, as Well, we we've been hope waiting for the be. mongrel. We need the mongrel here because this is people's money. This is their life savings. This is people have been forced to put that money to one side. They could have used that money to invent, build their own businesses, their small businesses. They could have used that money to give their kids a better life. And they could have give, used that money to give their take their kids to a better school <clears> or more holidays or just to live a better life for themselves or their parents. And instead, the government in insisted that that money be put to one side, half of it with these idiot super funds, with these uh, union-backed super funds. It's a rort through and through. It is not what the superannuation uh, strategy was meant to be. It is theft, and it is grand theft that they're coming for now, James. Well, yes, and, you know, and this whole idea, too, where they keep talking about, you know, these tax concessions are costing the government money. No, 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 it's no, 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 no. It's not their no, money. No. It's not their money, and also people planned. People went and planned with financial planners, with their accountants, and said, I need this money for my... And I'm following the rules. And then suddenly, they're going to yank the rug out from underneath them. And there's another sinister point about this, Rowan and Rita. They talk about, you know, well, we are, they want to limit what you're doing there just for what they call a dignified retirement. But guess what? Yeah. Labor is deciding what a dignified retirement and is. Worse, and the hypocrisy, the hypocrisy of what Albanese and others will be on and public servants exactly. and union Correct. leaders and all the rest, with your money, the hypocrisy is staggering. Australians have to rise up and say, no, this must stop. This government must be defeated. Uh, we want to hear Dutton. We want to hear Perrottet. We want to hear John Howard. We want to hear Tony Abbott. All out there. You've got to tear this government down now.